everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how we cook the most requested recipe on my channel which is Ajab sandal. According to Wikipedia and multiple other sources on the internet, Ajab sandali is considered traditional Georgian and Armenian dish, but it's also very popular in the Caucasus. And a lot of my family comes from the Caucasus, and we've been cooking Ajab sandali for many, many years. And today I will show you our version of how we cook Ajab sandali. Ajab sandali is basically a grilled vegetable ratatouille or saute as you wish is a perfect dish to cook in the nature on the fire of course you don't have to cook it on the fire but we always do it turns out the best that way it's also perfect when you have a group of people uh, a Jackson Valley is also a teamwork dish one person would probably not be able to make it it smells absolutely incredible it is delicious it's super healthy it's pure and it has the best ingredients that you can imagine so stay tuned guys and i will show you how we make it step by step so while we're waiting for the fire uh, let me tell you about the ingredients of Ajab Sandal because there are some key points that I must tell you about. So, the three main ingredients for Ajab Sandali are eggplant, bell peppers and tomatoes. Then there are some other ingredients but those three are essential. To know the amount of ingredients that you need, it will depend on the how many people are in your company of this thing. Let's say you're gonna have six people. Then you will need one eggplant, one bell pepper and one tomato. But you can also add a few extra tomatoes because tomatoes will give it more juice and the more tomatoes, the more juicy it will be. So let's say you have the company of four people. Then you will need one eggplant, one bell pepper and one tomato. Uh, so four of each ingredient plus you can add one extra tomato. Uh, if you have a company of 10 people, then it's going to be one of each plus add like, let's say, four extra tomatoes. Today, for this particular recipe that you're watching, uh, we are going to cook the Ajab Sandal for six persons. Even though there's four of us today, we want to cook some extra so we can have some leftovers and eat it uh, for the next couple of days. So, for six people, you will need six eggplants, and notice that all eggplants are pretty much the same size and this is important. They have to be almost identical to each other and also the eggplants you need to choose uh, more thick and more like meaty let's say. Those long and thin uh, eggplants will not fit for this recipe. So this is basically the standard size of the eggplants you will need. Also we're gonna be using uh, six bell peppers and also notice that they are pretty much the same size and also very nice and meaty. This is a hot pepper also we will we'll be using it and this is very very spicy. We're probably not gonna use the entire thing even though I love my stuff spicy so I would use the entire thing but not everyone will appreciate it so we will use only half of it I think. And also for six persons we're gonna be using 10 tomatoes so it would be more juicy and also notice that all tomatoes are pretty much the same size i'm sorry for the noise that these cars make we are sitting uh, kind of by the road and there's a lot of trucks passing by so it is what it is <laughs> also for this recipe we're going to be using lots of greens uh, together with onion and garlic Also a juice of half of a lemon, uh, salt and sugar and some olive oil and one spoon to mix it all together. So that's pretty much it and if I forgot something I will for sure tell you about it later. So let's begin cooking! The greens we're gonna cut at home because we're not gonna be having table in the nature so for our convenience we'll just do it at home and bring it with us. So we will need uh, a lot of greens for a Jap sandal. That's how much cilantro that we're gonna use. The same amount of dill. 
We need basil as well, also a lot, but not as much as the previous piece because basil is very uh, flavory and tasteful, so just a little less. That's the right amount of basil that we need for our ajab sandali. And also, parsley is not necessary for ajab sandali. We usually never put it because parsley is a little bit like hard as a leaf, as a green. So normally we don't put it, but I want to add for some extra flavor just a little bit, maybe maybe that much. I also want to cut the onion at home for the same reason. So for that amount of ajab sandali that we're gonna have, we will need two medium-sized onions and a few cloves of garlic. And this onion is for the next dish. We don't need it now. So let's go. This is how much garlic that we're going to be using today, but of course if you like more garlic, you can add more. Today we came to the same place as we were last time. You can check this video here if you haven't seen it already. And I cannot really give you the exact location of where we are because we are just somewhere basically. We just parked our car and came here. I don't think this place has a name and it's very close to our home. That's why we come here very often. Not that often actually, only two times in a month. But anyways, I cannot provide you the visual location, unfortunately. But honestly, pretty much any uh, mountain river in this area, Sochi, Dagamis, looks exactly the same. So in case you want to come anywhere, you will not be disappointed. Привет, хороший! Как дела? Today we're going to have a mini picnic with our family, there's only four of us today and we only came here so I can create this video for you with a Jab Sandal recipe and my stepdad is living in two days so it really is my last opportunity to make this video and it was requested so many times. So it is important that he's here because you really need a man for this recipe. <laughs> Another key point for this dish is that tomatoes, eggplants and bell peppers are going to be grilled on the fire. This is very important. And everything else go inside the dish raw. Now it's time to grill our vegetables. I cannot really tell you how much it should be grilling on the fire, but approximately 15 to 20 minutes until the skin of the vegetables will start burning a bit and peeling. Eggplants are already ready. Next very important step is to remove all the skin from our vegetables. You will have to remove the skin from every grilled vegetable. After you remove the skin, you gotta cut your vegetables. And it's very important to not cut them in very small pieces, so you can feel the texture later when you eat it. Eggplants give an amazing texture to our ajab sandal because if you can see closely they give some juice that looks almost jellish like and it's just so delicious and it gives to our ajab sandal a creamy texture. Hey 
friend. Friend. Hey. hey. Other than a job sundown today, we're gonna make a few fishes and some chickens. This is how the ready bell pepper looks like. It looks almost burnt. The pepper should be burned more than other vegetables, just because it's the way it is. <laughs> the pepper you cut pretty much the same as the eggplant, also not in small pieces. Just like that. Also, a little life hack for you guys. When you remove the skin from burned vegetables like this, your hands become very sticky. So put a little bucket with water so you can wash your hands in it and so they don't stick out that much. And here's some chicken that we're gonna have. It's not a lot because it's only four of us, but we do make some in advance so we can heat it up and eat it later for tomorrow or something. By the way guys, when you're cooking everything and spending so much time in the sun, don't forget to stay hydrated. Cheers! We chopped everything already and we have one last thing to chop is the spicy red pepper. Unlike the other vegetables, this one should be chopped in a very, very small pieces. And also be careful with that, uh, it might be really spicy. First make sure you can handle it and then chop it. So we ended up only with half of it. That should be enough for us. Well, not for me, but it is enough. All right. Everything is already chopped, now it's time to mix it all together, so... Now we need to add all of our uh, greens, uh, onion and garlic that we cut at home, to mix it all together. Also we need to add half of the lemon juice. Then, for such a big amount of ajab sandal, we will need approximately one tablespoon of salt. Not this kind of spoon, just a tablespoon, that much. And surprisingly, sugar. Sugar is needed to enhance all the other flavors. And we only need a very little amount of it, maybe one teaspoon of sugar, like this. And the last ingredient, olive oil. We're using olive oil, but you can use any other oil that you want, but don't use coconut oil, unrefined especially, because it might give it an unnecessary flavor that you don't need. And the oil, we are adding one spoon like this. Now we need to mix it all together very well and let all the ingredients um, absorb its flavors. And maybe you also noticed that I didn't add uh, black pepper into it. You can do it if you want, but this one is already too flavorful and too smelly that black pepper is just uh, not necessary anymore. And our ajab sandal is ready. Here is approximately 5 liters of it. It's now warm at the moment, but we will let it cool down a bit and wait for the rest of our food to cook. And um, in traditional Georgian recipe, they eat it cold. For example, now you cook it, it becomes a little bit chill. And then the next day, if you want to eat it, you don't heat it up. I personally prefer heating it up. I like my food warm. But if you don't, 
You can just uh, eat it the next day cold as it is. Everybody else in my family prefers it cold. I'm the only weird one. And it's time to try it. I personally think that more perfect and delicious dish doesn't exist in our earth. This is a must try for everybody. Here is our fish, the chicken and a chop sandal. I don't mind climbing eight more floors cause these stairs are all hidden. such good manners he's patiently waiting for us to finish our food so he will give him the leftovers he knows that we will give him the leftovers he's smart it's my mom and my sister now, after our great lunch, it's finally time to swim. And guess what, guys? Last time we were at this place, I told you about the guy named Gennady uh, that comes here every single day. And today he's also here, of course. But this time he has puppies with him. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. What can be better than puppies? Answer right now. What can be better than puppies? This is how happiness looks. This is the best spot to swim. The water is incredible. The police is We came back to our spot after the swim and that's how we stored everything away so the dogs wouldn't eat it. <laughs> this is the trash bag and that's the food, dry food. And this is all the meat and a job sandal. Guys, I want to take a moment to thank you. I want to thank you for everything, for being a part of my community, for watching my videos, for leaving your comments. And because you requested a video of a Jab Sandali recipe like a hundred thousand times, we had such a great day together with our family, especially since Sonia and Bayram are leaving very soon. They are leaving in two days. 
and it was such a great day to spend together as a family and it was all because I needed to film that video for you so I'm very thankful and grateful for you to leaving your nice genuine comments uh, video requests because sometimes those kind of days end up being one of the best days of the trip uh, like I really didn't expect to see those puppies today which was a highlight of my trip and also we had such an incredible swim the weather has been so nice lately and just overall it was a great day and it was an amazing day to end our trip as a family so thank you guys so much just for being a part of my life and i'm grateful to every single one of you thank you so much <laughs> Ты чё боишься? time for us to leave even though no one really wants to so if you still have some questions related to the ajab sandal recipe please leave them down in the comments and I will try to answer them for you so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video